We begin with breaking news. Police in Delaware have recovered the SUV belonging to Congresswoman Mary Gay Scanlon after she was carjacked earlier today in Philadelphia. Chip Chopper 3 over the Delaware State Police Troop 2 Barracks in Newark. Good evening. I'm Siafa Lewis Yuki and Jessica have the night off. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute is outside police headquarters. Jasmine, where was the Congresswoman's car found and who is in state custody tonight? Siafa, good evening. The Congresswoman's car was found around 9 o'clock at an Edge Fitness in Newark, Delaware. Eyewitness News learned tonight there was a short foot pursuit before Delaware State Police took five people into custody, a mix of men and women. It's a brazen and emboldened crime that took place in the middle of this scenic park. A United States Congresswoman is carjacked and robbed at gunpoint. I don't think they knew who it was, you know. It could happen to anyone. Any time, any place. Around 2.45 Wednesday afternoon, Pennsylvania Congresswoman Mary Gay Scanlon was walking back to her car at Patterson Avenue when she was approached by two gunmen. They demanded the keys to her 2017 Acura MDX and got away with two cell phones, including her government issued cell phone and her driver's license. Scanlon's spokesperson says the Congresswoman was physically unharmed. The Congresswoman unfortunately had to deal with what everyday citizens are dealing with right now. In a statement, Mayor Jim Kinney said in part, I'm appalled to learn of this violent crime. Everyone deserves to feel safe in our city. And sadly, as we know, this hasn't always been the case this year. Maybe it's going to take the fact that a congresswoman was carjacked in Philadelphia to raise awareness that crime in Philadelphia is 100% out of control. Anthony Giordano, the founder of Stand Up South Philly, says this is exactly why his group exists and why reforms are necessary. If you believe in the city of Philadelphia that we don't have a crime problem, you have to live under a rock. The scene unfolding in Councilman Kenyatta Johnson's district. He says all victims are taken seriously. No matter who the individual is that's either robbed or shot or murdered in the city of Philadelphia, it should be a priority. Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner issued a statement. Here's part of it. Armed robberies are among the most serious crimes. My office is ready to vigorously pursue accountability when these individuals are located by police. Back here live, again, five people are now in custody. We are working to find out how authorities located the vehicle. We will continue to keep you updated. We're live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters. Jasmine Payute, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jasmine.